Glory to Jesus and hallelujah. This is our last day we we are learning about faith. And as we conclude, I want us to go to the book of Hebrews. This is the the, the the book we've been measuring on. And today I want us to look at the word of God from the book of Hebrews 11 verse 32. This is what the word of God says. And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon. Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and the prophets who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions, quenched the fiery of the flames, and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weaknesses were turned to strength, and who became powerful in battle and rooted foreign armies. 35 says, women received back their dead, raised raised to life again. Others were tortured and refused to be released so that they might gain a better resurrection. I want you to understand that these are some of the men that the word of God has mentioned as also generals of faith. He has spoken about Gideon. We know about the story of Gideon in the book of Judges 6. And we saw how God called him when he was uh, uh, he was in the threshing wheat in a wine place. And the Bible says that the angel of God appeared to him and he, he called him a mighty man of valor. The reason as to why he was hiding in that cave is because he was afraid of the Midianites. The Bible says that the Midianites were waiting for the Israelites to finish harvest or or to plant and they would come in the time of harvest and they could come and destroy their harvest, their livestock and every produce that they had from their farms. And because God had chosen him to be a a savior in that generation, he called him from that place and because of, of obedience and faith in God that God has called me to do this and that I am going to obey because I know this work which the Lord has started he is going to accomplish it the Bible says that God used him even when he selected men to go to war with God told him to choose men from that army and he was left with very few men but because he had faith in God every instruction that God gave him he followed it to the latter the Bible says that God instructed him to go destroy the gods in his father's house that is what he did he couldn't have he couldn't have accepted to do that if he he didn't have faith in God and because of this faith that he had in God God used him mightily to destroy Midianites and God granted him victory because he found a man who was able to obey God, who was able to believe that if God has said he's going to deliver them that is exactly what he's going to do and he has spoken about Samson we know that Samson was a Nazarite and God had given instructions to, to his parents that they should not take this and that because the seed that they were carrying was a Nazarite and he was a man who was chosen to be a deliverer, to be a, a solution to his nation and the Bible says that he grew up with the spirit of God upon him and he could destroy the Philistines and the Bible records of how many, how many times he went he went to the battle, destroyed Philistine he went with a jaw of a, of a donkey and the Bible con, uh, uh, continues to say that he continued to be a savior in that generation. It is sad that he was destroyed with the people he was meant to destroy because of maybe lack of obedience but he is mentioned as one of the generals of faith because in his time there are deeds he did that were that he was enabled by God to do that because he had faith in God. Jephthah is mentioned in Judges 11. The Bible says that he was chased away from his household because his fellow brothers said that he could not stay in that place because they considered him as a son of a prostitute. And the Bible says after some time that they had they, they had a need for a warrior who could come and fight for them in their time and in their generation. He is mentioned because of his faith in God. He is mentioned because of the courage he had. He knew they chased me. He knew that they disregarded me. He knew they rejected me. But wherever God took him, he was made their leader because he had found favor in the eyes of the Lord. I want to remind you 
this morning that if you have found favor in the eyes of the Lord and if you have you have faith in God that nothing shall be impossible with you. These are men. The Bible has continued to say that they are men who shut the mouth of lions. We all know the story of Daniel, how he was put in that in the den in the cave of a lion of lions, and they never hurt him. They never destroyed him because he had faith in God. We all know about the story of the three Hebrew boys. The Bible is telling us about the people who quenched the fiery of the flames of fire. These are the men that the Bible is regarding to. The Bible says that every time king had commanded at the, when the, that when the trumpet trumpet is going to sound that every person is to bow down and worship the image that he had created in the land of Babylon. The Bible says that these Hebrew boys refused to bow. They had virgin knees which did not bow to any other God, but the God of Israel. These are men who challenge us by faith every day. The Bible says that they said, O King, live forever. We know this is what you have said, but we are not going to bow down to your carved image. We know our God. We know the God of Israel. We know what he's able to do. We know he's able to deliver us from this fire. The Bible says that they proceeded to say, even if he is not going to save us from this fire. Let it be known unto you, O King, that we are not going to bow down to your image. They had faith in God. They had not had that God had saved other people from the fire. They were the first case in this in, in, in this context. But the Bible says that they told the king, we know the God that we worship. We know the God that we serve. We know the God that we were introduced to by our fathers. He is able to save us. He is able to deliver us. And they said, even though he is not going to deliver us, let it be known unto you that we are not going to bow down to your God. And the Bible says, that the king became furious and he commanded his agents to go through throw them in the fire the bible says that those people who are throwing them in the fire they got burned because he had commanded that the fire be added seven times but i want you to listen to this that when they were thrown to the fire the bible says that the fire did not touch even their hair it didn't smell any smoke because god was with them and the following day when the king went even his agents they said that we threw three men in the fire but what has surprised us this morning is that we can see four men walking in the fire praise the name of the Lord they are mentioned in the Bible they are the people who quench the fire they are the men who quench the flames of fire because they had faith in God who saves they had faith in God who delivers they had God, they had faith in God who can never live them or forsake them. And when they were removed, the Bible says that they were given a high position in the land because God announced them that they are men of God, that those who believe in God will never be put to shame. The Bible says in the book of Romans that those who believe in the Lord shall never be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus because they knew there is a God in heaven who can never depart them, who can never abandon them, who can never disappoint them. Praise the name of the Lord. And because of this faith, they never feared the decree of the king. They are the people that the Bible is mentioning in the in the book of Hebrews 11.32. And if, if you continue, the Bible says that women received back their dead. We know of men who, who raised dead from, from who, who raised dead. Uh, 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 the dead because they had faith in God. We know of men in the book of Acts who never surrendered to the decrees of the kings that they should not mention the name of Jesus. They, they, are, they are men mentioned in the book of in the book of Acts 5 verse I think 32 to con you can continue reading the Bible and it says about Peter and, 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 and some apostles who were presented to the Sanhedrin and they were told not to mention or to teach concerning the name of Jesus but they had faith in God. The Bible says even when they were flogged, even when they were caned, they counted themselves blessed that they were found worthy to suffer for the sake of the gospel. Oh my God these are the people that they are mentioned in the book of Hebrews. The mighty men of faith who did not deny faith, who did not deny Jesus. They said 
we don't care what is going to happen in our lives we don't care if we are going to lose our heads we don't care if we are going to be uh, to be outcast in the land we don't care if we are going to lose everything they knew that because we believe in the resurrected Christ whatever is going to happen for us it is for our, our own good for the bible says that everything works out for good to them that love God and according accord, uh, accord according to his purpose and because of this strong faith they had in God the bible says at the end of acts, uh, uh, acts 5 the end uh, the, the, the the last uh, verses it says that they were rejoicing they went home rejoicing that they were found worthy to suffer for the sake of the gospel i can talk about this more than what i have done today but i know that you have been blessed by these scriptures and by these the uh, uh, these teachings we've been learning about faith so on behalf of pastor lucy painter this is anita flo and it has been a, a, a wonderful journey learning about faith i believe that we have been edified and we will continue to believe god in our journey of salvation till jesus comes back for us the lord bless you and do you good shalom <music>